<laughs> okay, uh, we're going to do a, a strict handstand push-up progression video. This is for anybody who is, is competent and capable of being upside down, and this is an our entry point into starting handstand push-ups. If you've never been upside down, even against the wall, and you haven't got the wrist, elbow, shoulder, stability instructor, to be able to do that, start with that first. This is more of an advanced handstand push-up progression. And I would know I am the handstand push-up guy. Um, we're going to go through positions to so talk about what it's like to be upside down on the wall. We're going to talk about press mechanics. So we're going to start with some Z presses and some box push-ups. These are progressions you can use to figure out where your weaknesses lie with your handstand push-ups and a couple of exercises you can use to strengthen those. And then we're gonna look at some, some holds against the wall, some negatives, some push-ups to a mat, and then we'll go through the actual push-up itself. Okay, we're in. Um, we're gonna go through uh, position, press mechanics, and then a couple of pieces up against the wall. What's really important is when we, we're doing any type of press, this could be a barbell shoulder press or a dumbbell press, not just the handstand push-ups, when we're pressing, we wanna make sure we're in a good position. So we're not leaning backwards and losing this shape here. We want to be as straight, rib cage pull down as we can as we press through. This is just a stronger structure that puts the shoulder in a better pressing position versus if I lose this and start pressing here and I'm pressing using different muscles, it's not as strong a structure. So you need to be able to kick up against the wall, get into a nice straight line and ideally be able to, to press here. We'll look at the position stuff a little bit more when we get up against the wall. Before we go there, we're going to talk about some exercises we can use as progression. So we're going to do a Z press. Z press is cool because we're in a seated position. It eliminates the use of any hip or leg and forces the, the trunk to have to work a little bit harder to hold that shape, forcing you to work a little bit harder to find a good pressing pattern. So you can do it with single dumbbells. Two dumbbells is better for forcing you to find a better shape. So if I sat down, uh, trying to get my hips as flat as I can. We can bend the legs a little if we need to. One dumbbell in each hand and the body is as straight as we can, trying to think about that nice handstand push-up position. Dumbbells on the shoulder. And as I press through, I'm trying to maintain that as I press through. If I was to lose that and lean back, I'm doing a different movement to what I want to be doing versus having my rib cage pull down as we press. That's a, that would be a great place to start if you need to develop more strength or pressing capacity with your strict handstand push-ups. From there, we can turn it into something more specific to a handstand push-up, but again, a progression. They were not strong enough to be able to hit strict handstand push-ups. We can do these on the box. Um, one thing that always cracks me up is when I see people get on the box, they start on the box and try and climb down into it. Don't be an idiot. Just put hands on the floor. That way you can A, put the hands in the position you want them to be in, and it's really easy just to put the feet up on the box. When we are going through the press position, we want to make sure we're trying to shoot for a a triangle shape with a, the, a, a, create a tripod. So as I come down, my head's going to the floor and creating a triangle between my hands and my head. Um, and I'll show you two versions of this. One's an easier version, which we can start with, and the hands will be further away from the box. And the more piked I get, the straighter the body, the harder the movement will be. So if I start hands further away from the box, pop the feet on up. And then the harder version would be hands closer as we come straight through. Those are quite difficult. Um, so again, that's an easy way because there's less load. Some of your leg is on the box. You're not carrying your whole body weight, so it just makes it a little bit simpler for you to work through those. Uh, moving to the wall now, we're going to look at holds, look at negatives, and then look at actual pressing as well. So what, like we spoke about at the start, it's really important when you kick upside down to maintain a nice strong position. So rib cage down, butt squeeze, hip tucked under, and arms straight overhead, avoid being here. Uh, forgive me if mine don't look like that. Uh, that's the whole position, we'll show you that in a second. And then we'll look at introducing the negative, which is starting at the top of the range of motion. So kicking through the handstand and under control, lowering our head down to the floor, kicking down, restarting again. The next progression from this would be lower yourself down and then you can use a kipping handstand push up to come back up, reset and just work the eccentric because that's where we build more strength. Um, and then what we can add in is, is mat. So it, a deficit would be doing a deeper range of motion, the opposite. So a deficit would be doing a less range of motion um, and then do an actual strict handstand push up. So when we kick up to the wall, Things we want to think about is hand placement, like we spoke about with the box, making sure we've got the, the room and the space to be able to bring our head down into a triangle position. Um, on the negative, we're looking to maintain this as we lower ourselves down. 
uh, we can kick back up or kick down and restart again and then adding something in between to reduce the range of motion. So when we get up against the wall, and that would be an excellent handstand hold and then uh, and a negative as well. Um, things to look out for, again, rib cage pull down, hip tucked under, really strong, really tall in that position and slow and control all the way down. That would be our negative. Um, we'll add the option of adding in one, two or three ab mats and reducing that range of motion so we're working under a shorter range of motion. That will allow us to get some exposure to the actual movement and the loading to get used to that before doing full reps. And the last one would be a strict handstand push-up, which I'll show you now. And again, when we come down, looking for the head to create a triangle shape between the hands. So nice hand placement. I think that's pretty good.